Let's go! I'm back, baby! Howdy folks, you on the Seagull and Speed 252 show. Scroll over to the right, click that subscribe button, and join this awesome community. What's up you guys? Oh man, I'm super stoked to be making this YouTube video right now. You guys, I missed you so very much. I miss your comments. Life has been crazy. Acting has been crazy. I mean, with classes, with, you know, trying to be in projects. And I did promise you guys that if I was going to be on set, I was going to release some of that footage in future videos. So that being said, I'm gonna put some clips, uh, well, maybe not clips, so I think they'll probably get mad at me if I release some of the movie clips in the video, but I will post some pictures. I'm allowed to post some pictures. So at the end of this video, I will post some pictures from my last time being on set on one of the movie projects I was doing. Super stoked to show you guys. For everyone that's new, my name is Clarence, and I wanna thank each and every one of you for being here. And definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so just yet, and give this video a thumbs up. And leave your comments down below because I want to read those comments. You know, I love reading you guys' comments because it's so um, so great to be to be reading those and so great to be back. And once again, I am so thankful to just have you guys part of this community. Um, I'm super stoked about this new color that Sherry released. I've been wanting this color for so long now. I've been talking about it with so many of my YouTube buddies, so many of my co ed friends. Some of you guys' emails. I've been wanting this color for, oh my gosh, I can't describe you how excited I am for this new color. Like just words are not enough to explain this new color, although there are some upside and some downsides about this color. But once again, I'm so thankful for you guys be watching this video. With that being said, Chevrolet released some new videos out regarding the new 2023 Corvette Z06. So that being said, let's go ahead and play that right now so you can get some new information regarding the Z06. And let's hop back into the video right after that. The engine is built purposely for the Z06. It's designed, clean sheet of paper, all brand new for the Z06. It shares no parts with any other engine that Chevrolet or General Motors has ever built. With the eighth generation Z06, we wanted to get back to our naturally aspirated roots. A naturally aspirated engine gives a driver feedback in a way that a supercharged engine just doesn't do well. Because it was a clean sheet design, we weren't held to any of the old rules. We all sat there and said, is this the best way to do this? Is this the absolute best way? We need to make this Street Z06 the best possible car ever, and then let's chase that down. We knew that we had to exceed performance of the seventh generation Z06. Well, how do you do that without the supercharger that was built into that engine? You do that by an engine that breathes better. The way to make it breathe better is to make it rev higher, to make it flow more air. And that's the impetus behind the flat plane crankshaft and the dual overhead cam. What allows a flat plane crank V8 to spin and rev so quickly is the fact that you have very low inertia in the crankshaft and essentially the entire what we call crank train, which would be the pistons, the rod, and the crankshaft. You're able to reduce the size of the counterweights compared to a cross plane and everything being lighter, it just spins faster. So we started testing out the technology for the never before done naturally aspirated V8 with the overhead cam. We put that in the race car to make sure that it would give us everything that we needed. And it has spent two years in the race car thriving and doing well. So we knew it was great for the production car when the Z06 was launched. Learnings that we captured in that event were able to carry us forward to then turn around and get the championship in 2020, both the manufacturers and drivers. We also won the Manufacturers and the Drivers Championship in 2021. A flat plane crank 
allows you some unique ways to tune both the intake and the exhaust. Within the manifold, there's actually three tuning valves, and then when you have the tuning valves, you're actually able to change the internal volume of the intake manifold, and you can stitch that all together to give you the maximum across the entire RPM range. When you have that high volumetric efficiency, the way the engine can really breathe, you get not only something with a high RPM limit, 8,600 RPM, but it gets there so quickly. It basically, it seems like it never wants to stop pulling. It just pulls and pulls. It does not, you don't feel the power really tapering off. To touch the throttle is uh, like an F1 car. It's just an instant blat of flat plane crank titanium connecting rod fury. We've done some unique things on this engine, such as where we place the fuel injector. It's on the exhaust side versus the intake side. We've done a purely mechanical valve train. We've done a sealed bay, individually scavenged dry sump system. And it's one of the really neat aspects of this engine. So the LT6 program, we had codenamed Project Gemini. There has been a long association with astronauts and the space program with Corvette. Gemini is obviously the zodiac sign for twins, and there is a twin theme throughout the engine. Twin throttle bodies, twin intake plenums, twin sets of exhaust and intake valves, twin sets of camshafts, twin fuel pumps. So it's throughout the engine, and it really ties everything together. Knowing that you're driving this piece of machinery that becomes an extension of your body is a very visceral experience. The flat plane crank, the high RPM, the freedom we've been given to put all this race car in a street car is, is just incredible. So check that out, you guys. I love that Chevrolet released a new video for the 2023 Corvette Z06. I know, I know, I know. We all been waiting patiently for more information about this car, not just information in general, about the pricing. We want the pricing of this car. We've all been waiting for such a long time on the pricing for the 2023 Corvette Z06. I know some of you guys are on a list right now. I know some of you guys are just waiting to hear when you're gonna get your car, how much the price is gonna be, what a dealership's gonna do for you, all that great stuff. I'm super stoked for each and every one of you who just recently got Stingrays. The Stingrays is a phenomenal car. For everyone, I'm gonna say this in this video, for every one of you who have not had an opportunity to get a Stingray and you are waiting for the Z06 and you think you're gonna be waiting for a while, get yourself a Stingray. You're gonna love that CA Stingray. It's such a phenomenal car. A lot of guys are trading in their 2020s, their 2021s, um, and 2022s for 2023 Stingrays on top of that for Z06s. So there's a lot of CAs out on the market. I don't know what the market is right now for um, those those cars. I know I sold mine already. Um, the new owner kind of reached out and said one of a few things about the car. He really loves it. Um, so I'm thoughtful um, that I'm hoping that the price will come out pretty soon. I should have said grateful is what I meant to say, but I'm not going to edit it out because that's just, this, it is, doesn't make any sense to. Anyways, I'm so grateful that, you know, somebody else have gotten the car and really taken advantage of it. Um, I really am super excited for, about the Z06. I really am. I really hope to see that car pretty soon. Um, or at least see pricing of the car pretty soon. That'll be the most important thing because I've been saving up for this car for a while. That's not the reasons why I sold my car. I know you guys know um, that are part of my channel that I did make a video about me selling my CH Stingray. For you guys that are new, I sold my CA Steamray. Um, I do have a new car coming to the channel. I'm waiting on that, and I will talk about that pretty soon. I will say that I'm super stoked for that car. I hope you guys will be too. And, you know, as we're talking about the colors of a C8 Corvette, I'm super stoked that Chevrolet will be releasing a green C8 Corvette. I mean, that color is super stoked. You know, I released um, some videos here on this video of Chevrolet or Corvette saying what they're going to do with that color, how they're going to produce it and all that great stuff. Um, and unfortunately, although that color is going to be super great, they're only going to produce one. 
just one, which kind of sucks. Oh my gosh. I can't believe Chevrolet's only producing, producing one color in that color. I just can't believe it. That color, when I first saw it, I was like, no way. Chevrolet's gonna give us green. And a lot of people, not just me, a lot of people have been asking for that green color for a while now. And Chevrolet only gonna give us one. Granted, that color is gonna sell pretty well with whoever decided to buy this car in the auction. It's gonna be one of those colors. But at the end of the day, we can all wrap it, right? Like we can wrap our car that color if we want to. Save all the money, wrap our car that color. I'm not saying I'm gonna wrap my car that color, but I would have loved to get a factory color like that. Chevrolet, we've been asking for that color for so long. And now you're gonna give us one green C8 2023 Corvette Z06, just one? Just one? Don't get me wrong, the colors that you guys have right now pretty great but i would rather have that green than caffeine brown I'm just being honest i'm just being honest caffeine brown is a color that honestly i would rather have zeus bronze over caffeine brown but at the end of the day i don't work for chevrolet just friends with engineers i can give them my opinion but my opinion but it doesn't really matter but at the end of the day you guys i'm so thankful for you guys to be watching this video um once again i did put a few photos at the end of this video uh, from my last acting set so i hope you guys appreciate that and actually get a chance to watch those as well how's you guys doing like what have you guys been up to lately how's your corvettes hanging out what's your you know your steam rays your c7 corvettes your c5s any information you know tell me how you guys been doing lately i really greatly appreciate you guys being a part of this community part of this channel part of this upload for all you guys that are new hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up button definitely leave your comments down below if you got a c8 on order as far as the stingray goes tell me what color you're getting what's the specs um what's your msrp are you having a good time with a dealership giving you great quality information or dealerships kind of you know dicking you around you know i know a lot of you once again are waiting for the 2023 corvette z06 so am i but at this point i'm just waiting on the price i just want to know if i'm gonna be able to afford this bad boy because that z06 is going to be a phenomenal car and i feel like in my first opinion i could be wrong about this but a lot of guys was waiting for the accurate and execs to come out for such a long time now and the car just took forever to come out now granted it's not the same with the chevrolet z06 so at least the car has been unveiled so we know what it looks like we just don't have the price and you as you know i've been talking to my friend buddy um mike and mike have said you know that the reason why we haven't gotten a price yet on the zeos is because of inflation because things just keep getting more expensive and chevrolet don't know release the price on the card and have to turn back around and say oh we're increasing it this x y z now at one point when the car first got unveiled i was thinking that it was going to cost 89.995 right that's what i was thinking i don't think this will be the case anymore starting price could be at 95.995 93.995 i don't know i don't think the base model is going to start off at 99.995 some people have been saying that and i'd be surprised if that car starts off at 99.995 i know some people you know are already upset that dealerships going to be charging over over msrp on top of the high price what this car is going to be like so man i'm looking forward to seeing this car i'm not looking forward to seeing that expensive price but i'm looking forward to seeing the price um with that being said you guys i am so grateful to have each and every single one of you a part of this community um once again i know i said this a thousand times i would love you to subscribe button thank you for joining me leave your comments down below and i will see you again probably in a couple of days in another episode of see gonna speak 252 we're out they got to buy their own stuff too yeah i mean there is kit yeah but normally just like sound <laughs> <laughs> you know, they make it that. They make it.